Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to recover a Fiverr disabled account. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you recover your disabled Fiverr account? Well, having a disabled Fiverr account can limit the things that you could do here. Now, in this case, what is the cost first for having a disabled account in Fiverr? Well, the thing here, before your account is actually disabled or suspended, usually you should receive some warnings before that is enforced. Now, this is from the article that Fiverr actually provided us. So in this case, usually if you're uh, doing some violation in regards to their policies, when typically if you do the same uh, mistake or violations uh, two times in a row and you've received a uh, warning on it, you are grounds for suspension. Also, if you do like three separate violations, you are also grounds for a suspension or a account disablement. Now, this case, according to their account, is currently if your account is disabled, if you, if you, if you have any funds, the freelancer is required to wait at least 90 days uh, to make the withdrawal. Now, if there are any open orders, you have limited access on your account, and from then on, uh, you should be able to still complete those orders, but again, you still need to wait 90 days for you to withdraw, withdraw those funds. Now, in this case, uh, it can be kind of hard to uh, fix this issue because we need to reach out to support. So may it be, uh, for example, uh, you still have access to your Fiverr account here. So that's a great thing because we can access a, a, a page here that we really need. So first things first, log in into your Fiverr account. Go and access your profile at the top right here. And you want to go to help and support. Now from here, scroll a bit at the very bottom here. Click on contact us. And from here, choose account and security. Now from here, choose account issues. And from here, choose the account was disabled. Now from here, just click on I still need help. And from here, just describe that you do not agree or you are requesting a review on your account and you want to appeal for your account disablement. Now typically, uh, they, they will actually process this, but it's really important that you submit this request or this ticket to customer support within six months of your account being disabled because after six months, you won't be able to appeal it. Now in this case, make sure to indicate that you want to appeal your account disable, uh, disablement here and you also want to add descriptions and reasons why your account should be uh, enabled or active again. So this might be depend or dependent on the user itself. So and just in case you might need to pro uh, prove like sometimes users reported not receiving like a warning or warning emails. So in this case, make sure to indicate that and your account just suddenly got um, disabled. So that's something that you need to uh, think about and really describe to appeal for your uh, account here. But in this case, some cases, if you're unable to access your account already and you're unable to log in, then in this case, you might need to reach out to them manually. So if I'm not mistaken, their uh, support email is actually support at fiverr.com. So you might need to ask that on uh, the, their community page here because in this case, uh, you might need to uh, verify that first. Now, in this case, you could go to forums here and uh, look for a uh, specific uh, emails or support so let's just type in support email for fiverr let's press and enter and uh, for uh we want to search for those emails so let's just we'll search for it so in this case according to one of this user you can actually contact them via support at fiverr.com now in this case if you do start contacting them via that means via email make sure to only provide the necessary information regarding your issue like for example the associated email address your name and ba basic information do not provide any uh of your net uh important details like for example your password or ba your banking details or not now in this case just provide them the necessary details or basic details and from then on just state that you want to have assistance regarding your issue on the disabled account that you have but in this case that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video